I was a patient of the cath lab last summer. My first procedures, it was cancelled at least three times before I actually had the procedure done. And when I got in here to have the procedure done, uh, I ended up having to wait um, 12 hours before they could do the procedure. I don't really think that they understood the, uh, the aspect of the ripple effect that it did cause back in through from, my, from them having to deal with what they did to me and my family. I had my wife and my daughter waiting, and they ended up being here the, the same 12 hours that I was. Yes, my husband was to receive an MRI, and we waited for several months to hear about an appointment. And when we finally um, made some noise, I guess to speak, at the hospital, we found out that they never even had received his records. The biggest thing that I was able to, I think, uh, let everyone know is, again, the fact of waiting, is you're actually waiting for an appointment. And it was the... Um, standard at that time that a, a patient not be called um, usually 60 70 days out before a patient actually got a phone call uh, one of the things that i found very interesting was the step process where uh, the nurses and the techs that were there sat down and it amounted to i believe somewhere in the 70s of steps that they take for a patient once they arrive to actually have the MRI. And uh, as a patient, I was absolutely floored um, of all that was required, you know, to literally just get an MRI. I certainly learned a lot. I was just wowed by the whole, the whole process, you know, coming from um, all these sticky notes, <laughs> walls of sticky notes to after two intense days at either both sites, um, it just went down to a small amount of time, a small amount, and what we accomplished in that, and meeting all the different people in all the different areas, too. That was great. Interesting. After the first day and all the discussion and all the sticky notes, I really wasn't sure we'd come to a conclusion. I just kept feeling like we're, we're climbing this mountain. And then by the end of the second day, there we were with a conclusion, and then with some hopes and dreams, you know, a little bit of a dream plan. So those are the three things that were our main goals and I think we pretty well accomplished all of those. Well, today was really an eye-opener, how much they've done, um, accomplished in such a short time. Really, it's because it's only been, what, I think I started there in September, so four, five, six, seven months. Like, really, really a lot has been done. Yeah, I found it really uh, uplifting for me um, to see the painting on the wall, to find out where you could go to the cath lab to see the uh, waiting room that they actually had, that it was actually a room and not just a hallway. It made me feel part of the hospital, and it did make me feel like they, they heard me, and I always felt like I was part of the team. When I uh, was listening to the results today, I was very pleased to hear that the pharmacy hours had been expanded. That's definitely going to make it easier for the nurses, safer for the patients. Change is difficult. And there were some aspects of the SOP that was difficult for me, I, I could view it from the patient's point of view, but I could also view it from the nurse's point of view. And I just realized that they came to a very wonderful middle ground, and it's just going to work for everyone. And that, th that to me, was, was, was perfect. Um, the fact that my voice was heard as a patient and the fact that they were able to make that step and make the changes and actually now they were saying that the wait times pretty much are a day or less before you get to uh, hear about your appointment that's fabulous i mean that's what it's all about is making it better for someone else